In this video, I will go over some troubleshooting tips to ensure that you are able to install and run your WinMax desktop software successfully. If you are installing WinMax and you get the following error, this setup requires administrative privileges that appear to be unavailable. Would you like to try again? This indicates WinMax software requires that it be installed using the administrator account or with an account with local administrative privileges. If you right-click Computer and then double-click Manage, go into Local Users and Groups, Groups, and then the Administrators group. Your domain or local login username must be in here in order for you to be a local administrator. It's possible you'll need your IT staff to help you with this. If you get the following error, the system option is not enabled. Please do so now. If the system option in OptiClient is green, but you get this message, OptiClient needs to be reset. To do this, open OptiClient and go to Tools, Admin, type 46268, and then check the radio button that says Reset OptiClient. Then click Apply and OK. After you've reset OptiClient, you will need to re-option your desktop software again. The steps for this can be found in the WinMax installation video. If you can't open OptiClient and get a message 003, your machine ID is invalid. OptiClient will need to be reset using the command prompt. Go to Start, type in CMD, short for Command. When in the command prompt, you will navigate to C, Program Files, x86, Herco, OptiClient, then type opticlient.exe space forward slash R and hit enter. This will reset OptiClient. Once again, after you've reset OptiClient, you'll need to re-option your desktop software again. If WinMax will not launch or just hangs and you get no error, you may want to completely uninstall and reinstall WinMax. To do this, go to the control panel Uninstall WinMax Mill or Lathe, whichever isn't working. If you're uninstalling the Lathe, make sure to uninstall the Herco Motion Control Demo as well as OptiClient. After uninstalling, you should go to C Program Files x86 Herco folder and delete everything inside. Once you've rebooted, refer to the WinMax installation video to reinstall the software. If WinMax hangs or just won't launch, you can also try editing the permissions for the applications. You will need to go into C, Program Files, x86, Herco, and then either the WinMax Mill or Lathe folder. Right-click on both max5ui.exe and winmax.exe and select Properties. On the Compatibility tab, click Change Settings for All Users. For all users, check the box that says run this program as an administrator. Then apply and OK. This can be especially helpful in Windows 10. It may be necessary for you to temporarily disable your firewall and antivirus software as it can inadvertently block certain files and services from running when launching WinMax. Most firewalls and antivirus programs that are running on your computer will show up on your Windows taskbar next to the clock. Most programs will allow you to right-click on the icon and select Turn Off or Temporarily Disable. If you do not see this option, you will need to open the firewall or antivirus software and disable it. If you need additional, detailed instructions on how to disable or turn off a specific firewall or antivirus software, contact the software company directly.